Even life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? <laughs> you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> All right, here it is. I found a giant bowl that fits any giant soup, so it's pretty much bigger than my head. The first soup that I want to fit into this bowl here, it would be Naruto's Ichiraki Ramen. Let me show you how easy it is to make a giant Naruto Ramen. Don't like so Let me show you how fast I can make it in my Instant Pot here. Guys, I love this thing. Start off like this. I got a big pot of boiling water here. First things first, we got to wash our bones. So I got two pounds of pork neck bone, three pounds of just pork bones here. So. All we're gonna do, be careful guys, into the pool. What the process is gonna do is gonna help clean out all the impurities and help with my broth because I want a nice clear pork broth. 15 minutes up, dump out your impurities. Next, we're just gonna rinse this. 12 quarts of water here. Taking my clean pork neck bone and my pork bones, we're just gonna toss them into the pool. I don't care if they can swim, they just gotta get in. Next, one tablespoon of salt in the beginning, one onion, one ginger, one whole stalk of green onion. All right, it's getting very full here. So four or five shiitake mushrooms, two tablespoons of miso paste. So I'm just gonna take some of the water out, guys. Then lastly, four tablespoons of fish sauce in the beginning. Just in the beginning, it is. In the end, we will taste and adjust for our liking. Pop this on. We're just gonna cook this for about an hour and a half because I want these bones to be liquefied. Next, chashu pork. So I got pork belly here, which I just kind of butterflied and just kind of clean off some of the fat there. Marinade, two tablespoons of soy sauce, tablespoon of sesame oil, spoon of mirin, tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. I don't got sake, so I'm just gonna use Chinese cooking wine. But if you guys do have sake, throw in the sake. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Take your beautiful clean hand, get right into it guys. Last touches all of them, I goofed guys, forgot about this. Half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Mix this in very well, let this sit for two to three hours. The longer it sits, the tastier it will be. Fresh ramen time, so I got 300 ml of warm water here. One tablespoon of baked baking soda. We're gonna add it to our warm water. We're gonna mix this in. Three cups of flour here, my baked baking soda water. And we're gonna slowly add this in. Slowly add it in while Mixing guys. Make sure in the beginning you mix it with a spoon because if you guys don't, it's gonna eat your hand. I ain't kidding guys. The big baking soda guys is legit crazy. <laughs> this is by far the hardest dough you can ever work with. It's very awkward to work with, but in the end, after all the hard work and muscles you guys put into this, it's gonna come out being the most tastiest ramen noodles you guys ever pop in your mouth, I promise you. One minute in, the dough might not look too promising, but Keep kneading guys. 10 minutes in, nice and smooth dough. I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge for about 30 minutes before I start rolling it out. Dough has proof for about 30 minutes. All I'm gonna do, throw a little flour on here. You know what, I'm just gonna beat this out. I'm gonna beat this out into four. It's just beautiful. <laughs> if that wasn't real, then I don't know what is. <laughs> so all we're gonna do, roll out our ramen. Take this, turn it over to our pasta baker. All we're gonna do is roll this out. Oh yeah, that's a hard dough. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go down until we hit the second dial. So this is seven, five, and two. Feed this through. There you go. beautiful strands of hair here or ramen so a little more cornstarch wrap this up and there it is your fresh homemade ramen complete got your ramen nice and rolled out saran wrap this set to the side for the time being our topping so we got soft boiled eggs so I'm just gonna boil this for about six minutes make sure guys six minutes only I'm gonna do a few extra just in case it breaks like that so I'm covered <laughs> as we wait for our eggs to boil up Let's make a bath for them just to sit in. So I got two tablespoons of soy sauce here, one tablespoon of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of sugar, and half a cup of water. Six minutes up, I'll pour the water out. I'm gonna dunk it into our water bath. Nothing to this now, crack this open. A nice peel, toss them into this pool here. Cashew pork, so all we're doing is rolling this up 
I'm gonna take two toothpicks, stab it right in just to help it keep in place. A little olive oil into the pan here. Swish it around. Take your chassis of pork. And we're gonna sear all sides. Get all sides nice and seared onto my baking sheet. Into the oven at 420 for about 50 minutes. Stock is complete. So, how are we gonna do? Release the air. Moment of truth, guys. Does the Instant Pot make the best Naruto Ichiraku ramen ever? It looks not bad at all, guys. <laughs> all I wanna do now, guys, is strain this broth. Once I got the broth nice and strained, I'm gonna pour back my broth into my pot here. We gotta skim off all that fat on the surface here because we don't want that much fat in our broth. Lastly, we gotta taste our broth for seasoning. So taste, that's quite delicious. So I added four tablespoons of fish sauce in the beginning. Then I'm gonna go six tablespoons. So if you guys want it more salty, add more fish sauce. So taste and adjust for your liking. Let's put this together. So ramen time. Everybody into the pool. I don't care if you can swim. Just gotta get it. Cooking time, one minute. After a minute, I'm just gonna strain my fresh ramen. I'm gonna run this under cold water because we still want that chewy texture. Once I got this nice and strained, in goes my bowl, my fresh ramen. Next, I'm gonna take my stock. Just pour it in. How are we gonna do now? Take this, just gonna place it here. Toppings are Naruto fish cakes. Next, green onion. Pickled bamboo shoots. Next over here we got our super, super soft boiled egg. Look at that. Just beautiful. Don't you guys think? Toss this in. Time for the chashu pork. Chashu pork. It's not burnt, it's just crispy thinness. <laughs> just a little hint of pink in the middle there. So, again, guys, goofed it again. All I'm gonna do is just pan fry this up a bit. Once I got it nice and pan seared a bit, I'll try to roll this back up. To a nice round. <laughs> Looks like it's not happening. But it's still delicious, I promise you. A few touches, just a seaweed. And there it is, guys. This is my giant bowl of Naruto Ichiraku ramen. His favorite. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. You gotta bust out the big chopstick. So, big chopstick. Big spoon. So, first things first, take the first sip of this. Naruto Ichiraku Ramen. Quick time, the bra. It's got it. nice. I'm super pumped for this. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, I'm so impressed by the Instant Pot. An hour, did I put this in an hour and a half? An hour and a half. Wow. <laughs> That's some rich, good broth right there. Guys, fresh ramen. Let's go. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm-hmm. Yup. Naruto rice cake. Let's go. Nice. Mm-hmm. You know what? I want to mix this in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A piece of the chasu pork or cha chasu, not charsu, but chasu pork. Quick time, nice. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. That's what's up. The egg. Hmm? 
Best thing ever. Mm hmm. Got to suck. Mm -mm -mm. It's so beautiful. I think the next thing I'll do, or next time thing I will do, trim off this pork belly a little more. Mm. You guys gotta try this recipe out on your instant pot. Mm, 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 mm. And when you do this, you must make the fresh ramen. Without the fresh ramen, I don't think it'll be the same. Mm.
Just a few pieces of fatty char siu, or char siu, which I'm just gonna save for later. It's not about the blubbery life right now. If you guys enjoy this one, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your food and life's beautiful thing, share, or a bomb one, like, share this. Peace out.